the simple past versus the past progressive. To find more information on these two verb tenses, you can turn in your textbook to page 29 and read charts 2-7 and 2-8. First, the simple past. This is a tense you are already very familiar with. The simple past describes an action that began in the past and ended in the past. It is completely finished. It also usually describes an action that happened at a specific time in the past. For instance, I graduated from high school in 2002. We know when it happened. It was in 2002, so we use the simple past. The past progressive, on the other hand, describes an event that was in progress in the past. Now compare this sentence with the sentence I just showed you. At two o'clock yesterday, I was sitting in class. We do have a specific time, just like the previous sentence, 2002. However, at this specific time yesterday, the action was not completed, it was still in progress. In 2002, graduating from high school was completed. It began in 2002 and it ended in 2002. At two o'clock yesterday, I had not begun sitting in class. I'd been sitting in class before two o'clock and I was still sitting in class after two o'clock. So the action continues over a longer period of time. So even though we have a specific time, the action is still in progress. The past progressive is almost always paired with the simple past. You'll have a sentence that has two verb tenses in it. In one clause, you have the simple past, and in one clause, you have the past progressive. And it is often used in sentences with the words when and while. For example, while I was watching TV, the phone rang. You notice that in the while clause, we use the past progressive. And in the main clause of the sentence, we use the simple past. So the phone ringing happened at one specific time, but watching TV occurred before the phone rang, while the phone rang, and after the phone rang. It was in progress. We could also say, when my mother called, I was doing my homework. Notice that in the when clause, we use the simple past, and in the main clause, we use the past progressive. My mother called at a specific time. Before she called, I was doing my homework. While she called, I was doing my homework. And after she called, I was doing my homework. It was in progress. Now it's your turn. Read the following sentences and fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Okay, let's look at the answers. The first one. She was cleaning the house when her husband came home. Her husband came home at a specific time, so we used the simple past, but she was in the process of cleaning the house when that happened, so we use the past progressive. Next. We flew to Paris last year, as opposed to we were flying to Paris at this time last year. Why do we use simple past in the first sentence and past progressive in the second one? Notice the phrase at this time. Remember what I said? The simple past we use when we know the time. But when we have a very specific time, a lot of times we use the past progressive because the simple past is for actions that began and ended in the past. So last year, we began our flight to Paris, and we also ended our flight to Paris last year. But at this specific time last year, 
we were in the middle of that flight. It wasn't beginning and it wasn't ending. It was somewhere in the middle. So we use the past progressive. And the last one. While he was reading at home, the power went out. Again, the presence of while tells us that we need to use the past progressive. That was happening before, during, and after the power going out. The power went out at a specific time. Now for practice, turn to your textbook and do exercise 27 on page 30 and exercise 28 on page 31.